Last week, with bipartisan support, the Senate passed a tax and economic relief bill referred to as the Coronavirus Economic Recovery Act. I spoke with Senate Tax Chair Roger Chamberlain. The coronavirus pandemic is really hurting the state and businesses across the state. What elements of the tax bill will aid businesses? Uh, all of it, actually, all of it. It's aimed at small businesses to larger businesses, farmers, Main Street, schools, uh, charities, charitable donations. Uh, so it, it'll positively, plus all the delays and, of payments, it helps out all businesses in the state in one way or another, you know, employees and employers. It helps everybody out. And so um, I know one of the elements of this is delaying tax payments and also um, taking away any penalties that would be due for late payments. And you, you were quoted by Minnesota Public Radio as saying that shifting these tax revenues from this fiscal year to the next will also help the state. How so? Well, it has to do with liquidity, right? First, you, you triage, you stop the bleeding, stabilize, and then you move on to aggressive recovery and rehabilitation. So the shifting, the delays and the shifting uh, simply creates a lot of liquidity, of one point, about $1.2 billion of liquidity for businesses so that they can, once they start running again, they'll have time to catch up. So instead of paying that bill now, we, they defer it and pay it later. $1.2 billion significant. For, uh, for employers across the state. It may make the difference between staying in business and succeeding or failing and bringing jobs back and letting people work. So you shift that into July of uh, the, the next fiscal year, right? Uh, July of 2020 is the next fiscal year start. And you create a lot of liquidity. So then they can, as they start up again, the governor started some businesses last week. He's rolling out some more this week. So it gives them a little time to get going, ramp up, and not have to put that cash out right away, and they can catch up a little bit easier. There was a press conference uh, with Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka and Jobs and Economic Growth Chair Eric Pratt. They were joined by a handful of small business owners uh, from around the state who were outlining the steps that they can take to safely reopen. From an economic, economic excuse me, point of view, what happens to the state if businesses like these remain shuttered? Well, you know, obviously our prime concern has always been health and safety of the uh, citizens of the state of Minnesota. That was uh, addressed strongly and assertively and aggressively um, almost two months ago when this started, uh, early March. So steps have been taken to stabilize hospitals and, and the healthcare system and get collect data on what we're doing. So now the, the hope is, uh, the goal has to be to get back to normal, slowly get these businesses open and get back to that point. Now, uh, people might be critical. Uh, this is not partisan, it's not political. We have to deal with health and safety on both sides of this. If these, uh, as I said on the floor debate, if we don't have employers, we don't have jobs, we don't have employees, we don't have revenue. Without people making income, there's no revenue to run the state. Uh, with each passing day, that revenue uh, this picture gets worse. The, the uh, Minnesota Management and Budget will come out with an updated estimate of our forecast, not a complete forecast, but where we might be. Um, so as soon as we can get people back to work safely in a safe manner and get them comfortable and confident that we're going to be okay, we're going to be okay through this. We're going to come out okay, but we have to prepare for that so we keep as many people uh, working and employed and employers running as possible. If we don't do that, Look, the state runs on money. It's always the case throughout the history of the world. People have to work either to get food out of the ground or they work some other way to buy food and pay for the shelter. It's how this works. We have to work. If we're not working. Uh, it's hard to pay the bills of the state and take care of the things we have to take care of. Uh, so the deficit will be anywhere from, a, if we're lucky, a couple billion to a billion to, uh, if we're unlucky, we don't get this going soon to, uh, you know, 20% of 50 billion could be eight to nine billion. So our goal is to protect people on both sides of this. Health and safety on the front end, protect them from that, from the COVID, reassure them, we're gonna be good, we're gonna be all right. And then also on the back side, take care of them back there so that people can get back to work and get back to their lives. Vitally important, vitally important. If we don't have the employers and employees, it's gonna be very, very hard in this state. Senator Roger Chamberlain, thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.